Leviathan here at Fright Fest 15, Odd Bodies, Dayton, Ohio. And here with me now is Miss Lana Black. Hello, darling Darklings. How are you? Yeah, well, Lana, thank you for being with me. Thank you for having me. And, uh, well, I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, until this tour, I had never actually heard of you. But just saw you on stage. Awesome performance. Thank you so much, Reverend. So, uh, what can you tell us about you and your band? Well... Uh, I started writing my album five years ago, and um, it became Lana Black Limited, and um, started writing one song, and then I figured I would do an EP, and then from the EP it became an album, and I got my band together this summer, and they're fucking amazing, and we've been rocking on ever since. It's magic in the making. Everything that's happened in this past year has been happening from the universe up above. Awesome. And, uh, you know, I've heard a couple people, they classify you as... I've heard gothic metal, I've heard shock rock, so, but I always like to ask the artists themselves, what do you consider your genre? Well, my genre is like, you know, basically pop, pop rock, metal, hard rock, rock, it depends on how you, like, how you take it when you listen to my album. It's something for everyone, though, which is what I can say. It's called Nocturnal for a reason, I'm a vampire, I'm a bat, you know, I fly through the night, my favorite, one of my favorite songs on my album is In the Darkness, and... Um, if you downloaded my album, you're going to hear that and you're going to see some show in the springtime because I'm planning on touring in Europe and Japan and wherever else. So. Awesome. And, well, <clears throat> you said you're a, a vampire and all that stuff. So what, where do you get your inspiration for, say, your lyrics? My lyrics is everything that's, that I've been through in my entire life. I write from the heart, from the soul. There's nothing that you can't write if you write from your body, from everything you've experienced in your entire life. You don't pull it from thin air, you pull it from life itself. Everything you've gone through, you pour it into your music. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as your, your musical inspiration, you know, the artists before you and those who are here now, uh, who would you say has inspired you the most? Uh, Marilyn Manson, um, Rob Zombie when he was White Zombie, and Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> I mean, Alice Cooper. I'm into horror, and I followed them all my life. Basically, all the fathers of shock rock. Yes. The shock. All the, the shock gods rock. of rock and metal. Mm -hmm. I followed my whole life. Awesome. So, yes. And, uh, <clears throat> well, here's a random question since so you're talking about vampires. Uh, what would you say your favorite vampire movie is? Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> you know, it's funny because for soundtrack wise, I would say Queen of the Damned. Okay. But from Dusk Till Dawn, I'd probably say Hands Down is one of my favorites. Um, but if we want to go like uh, for comedy, I would say Abbott and Costello means Frankenstein and the Wolfman. So it depends on you know what type of movie you like. But yes, they've all inspired me in their own way. I'm a classic type of chick though, a chiller thriller type girl. So no Twilight. No Twilight. We don't sparkle. Vampires do not sparkle, ladies and gentlemen. No. Drawing Darklings, you know we don't sparkle. Okay. If we sparkle, you're not a vampire. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And, uh, well, uh, what can you tell us about your new album, Nocturnal? Well, my new album just dropped on October 19th, same day Halloween came out. I wrote every single lyric on that album, and it was produced by my manager, Tim McMurtry, and he's actually the real original guitarist from M.O.D. Um, there's something for everyone. If you want vampirism, I brought it all to you, ladies and gentlemen, and you basically will see a lot of me in 2019. This is only the beginning of my story for you. Stay tuned. And where would one find your album online? Well, you can find it on uh, iTunes and uh, like every major digital online store, pretty much like Google Play, Amazon. I'm worldwide. So look up Nocturnal, ladies and gentlemen. There's eight songs. Lana Black wrote them all. Check it out. All right. Well. We'll wrap it up with this final question. I always like to ask people, mm -hmm. what has been your greatest challenge? My greatest challenge is just being and surviving life in itself. Um, just like, you know, when, when something happens, like in your life, no matter what path you're on, and like it's like a clusterfuck of bullshit, you have to keep on pushing, keep on trucking. If you believe in yourself, you're going to get very far in your life. But if you have doubt, 
you'll get nowhere. You always have to believe in you. Why should anybody, anybody else believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? You keep on picturing that goal that you want and you will have it. You will succeed. I hope everybody enjoys my album and I want to spread the love of music everywhere worldwide. Thank you so much. Words of wisdom from, from the vampires. Can I suck your blood though, like or something like that? Do I get anything out of this interview or anything like that, or any well, you, type of pints of blood or, you know? Uh, I'm type hell no. So I don't. <laughs> well, think I'm you typo can... fucking negative Peter Steele. Oh. So if you're part of that too, then maybe we could talk. <laughs> yeah, you can suck my uh, my cameraman's blood. <laughs> so I think uh, he wants me to do that to him. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Well. Thank you for being Thank with you us for again. having me. And everybody, check out the album and hope you have an awesome time on the rest of the tour. You too. Thank you so, so much. Thank, thank you. you for having me here. Yeah. Thank you. In the dark.